you remember that time I tried to say song lyrics? Yeah. <laughs> it was unsuccessful. <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea. So you get, you just, <laughs> but you're not even talking now. You have to say it like Jay, a talk. Jay, who who yeah. lives in a pineapple under the sea? Absorbent, yellow, porous. No, you were getting yeah, I, 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 like I, I was hearing it. I, yeah, yeah, I heard it. Heard it. I heard it. it. Yeah, but you got you gotta say it like you're like you're addressing a Absorbent. talk. Yellow. Porous. porous. Is he? Hey, brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J versus Ben, where today we are taking on the internet's hardest and possibly only astronomy tower quiz. Are you ready, kids? I'm ready. I can't believe you didn't say I can't. I yeah, I thought about it. Hey, brother. Let me ask you something, Ben. Are you feeling lucky? Well, when it comes to when it comes to trivia against you, not usually, but today a little bit. Yes, indeed. Thanks to this. What? Why is that performance enhancing coffee? No, it's liquid luck. Oh, our brand new flavor of coffee available now at CarlinBrothersMercantile.com. you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Ethan is on the other end of the microphone. He's going to be reading today's questions. They are 10 primary quiz questions plus an additional five from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I will have to answer all of the questions completely from memory, but if we both agree we have no idea, we can ask Ethan for the multiple choice. If you'd like to play along, there's a link in the description down below. Without any further ado, aye aye, Captain! One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, yours is way better. Yeah, it it's is. It's actually it's like pretty spot on. Pretty yeah. spot on, yeah. Ben, yours is a little mihoi manoi. That is some nautical nonsense right there. <laughs> it's like a paper bag trying to be a sponge. You have ears up here? What was that? There, there were porous holes. <laughs> Question number first. Who killed Dumbledore at the Astronomy Tower? Well, well, well. As ever, we got ourselves a real nice, uh... What is the name of the first book? Yeah, yeah just that, just a big ol' softy. Right? All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Snape. Snape. The it world, is Snape. The internet's possibly most infamous spoiler ever. Possibly. Do you remember, this was, this was like, this was a spoiler like before spoilers were like a really big thing. It was yes. like the spoiler that started all spoilers. Like, because I remember the way people would do it was on instant messenger. AOL you, instant messenger. You just leave an away message. It's just basically like, I'm not here right now, but here's a message that'll pop up instead. And people's away message would be Snape kills Dumbledore, page 756 or whatever. And it was like, why would you do that? It was so mean. Uh, boy, the, the, the advent of trolls and spoilers. All in one, one fell swoop. There it is. The internet was always going to be the internet we as early as it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. With, with that, what that means though is that there was a first person who did it. There, uh, yes, yeah, someone, someone spoiled it first, and then it spread. But what it also means is that there was someone who did it first, who had friends who saw it, and enough people who there were probably people who were upset, and then other people were like. That was pretty good. It was enough, there was I'm enough gonna, people who didn't like Harry Potter that were just like, this is just hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, I'm, I, I'm I stand nothing to lose. Right. I'm just except all my friends. Well, not liking Harry Potter was a personality trait back then. Yeah, well, well there's that. So, it's kind of like liking The Office today. Right. Which I do. So yeah. there's that. Yeah. But You don't like The Office like some people like The Office, though. There was that one point in time where in every single photo of me, I just try to smile like Jim. Question number two. When... Did the Battle of the Astronomy Tower take place? What date? Yeah. You mean the date of the... Yeah, like day, month, year. Day, day month, month, year? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well, well. Right. Um, that year, right? Or is it... This is an official Wizarding World question for what it's worth. We did not just decide to mess with you guys. This well, is, it seems yeah. like they're going... Um, right, they went for the softy and then right for the jugular. Right, there must right. be something about it that stands out, though. I have a guess. That makes it like an obvious thing. 
that big month like, year. It had to be this day because like there was something about the day in question. It's it's like they're doing no. Well, you have a you have a question. You got a one in three hundred sixty five chance. Well, I can rule I can out bear, a lot of dates. I can it's rule closer out. to like one in ninety. You know. That right. was my secret hint to tell you that it's not a leap year. Oh, yeah. oh it wow. is not. Okay, that's that was very helpful. That was very helpful. I wasn't going to guess February 29th, almost no matter what. Yeah, but you got to get the year. Well, I, that's not a problem. I eliminated a quarter of all years. Well, mm -hmm. oh, wait a second. Probably. I don't know when leap years started. But, hang on. I might, have it, I might have something wrong. Though. I know. Now I'm like, oh, yeah, I am on. doing some weird year math as well. Um, but what would the... Why would the... Oh, man, I'm glad we talked longer because I changed it and hopefully it was for the better. Is is something... It's like right there, you know? It's very... It is. Yeah, it's like right at the... Um, but when do they... When does summer start for these lads, you know? We got to back it up. We go through August. We go through... I'm just going to be like, right... Um, there we go. Yeah, okay, sure. Why not? All right, yeah. you ready? Yeah. One. Dose. Three. Is that June 30th? I said June 30th, 1997. Dude, are you June serious? June 30th, 1997. Dude, don't look high five. Is yeah. it the right answer? Yeah. No way. Oh, oh my gosh. And that was like me. Okay. Okay. Literally, here's what I did. Okay. It was like, it's the end of the year because there's no more classes. Or at least that's, that's what I reasoned in my brain. I was like, Dumbledore dies. And then that's pretty much it. Like funeral, go home. Right. Right. Kids can stay for the funeral if they want. And I was like, okay, so term starts on September 1 every year, even though it's not always a Monday. It's always a Monday in the books. And summer for them is only like eight weeks. So I was like, all right, so just peel back uh, all of August, all of July, last day in June. <laughs> Why not? That was exact. That was my reasoning, and it was correct. I, wow! I'm I'm, I'm, I'm proud impressed of us. with us. I'm proud of us. I Harry think makes it really sound like a chore going home for the summer. It's like all of sixty two days that he right. can't stand yeah, yeah. to be with the Dursleys. Like, yeah, it's not that bad. No. Well, I mean, they're not that great. They're not that great. But yeah, but I mean, I have real life friends that I don't see every sixty two days. Yeah, like, it sure. does not. It does not end me. Sure. Right, eight, right. Eight weeks feels bearable. Yeah. It does feel strange to me that they're still in school that late into June. We're usually out by like the first week of June. Oh my gosh, there's nothing better than when you go to college and suddenly summer starts in May yeah. instead of June. Yes. And you're like, wow, this is unbelievable. Then you get to Christmas break and it's a whole month yeah. off. What? What a great time to be alive. What a great time to be alive. The week leading up to those breaks, though, extremely stressful. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Let me that. give you something else extremely stressful, because it's our first Quizmaster question of the game. All question right. number third. And it was submitted by Rain, Important, Law Ninja, Emily Stock, Pancake Badger, Travis Peacock, Adam Majishi, and Duck Patronus underscore 18. This many people submitted it? They sure did. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm going to put hello all of you on the top. I bet I know what it is. I'm going to guess right now. It's which Death Eaters were present at the top of the tower? That's my guess. Select all that apply. Who is present at the Astronomy Tower when Dumbledore dies? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Who is present? At the Astronomy Tower. Okay, all that apply. <laughs> okay. So like okay. all that apply. Uh, a is Bellatrix Lestrange. B is Amicus Caro. C is Electo Caro. D is Augustus Rookwood. E is Corbin Yaxley. F is Lucius Malfoy. G is Fenrir Greyback. And H is Antonin Dolohov. I'm also you're learning Yaxley's uh, real name. Oh, man. Time. This is tricky because it doesn't... F well, I don't want to give anything away... I mean, it feels like it's pretty tricky in a, quite a few ways. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I can for yeah. Okay, this is my answer. I know I have an answer too, but I feel like I feel unsure about a couple of things. Yeah. Okay. Ready? <clears throat> yeah. Oh wait a oh. second. <gasps> Gasp. Okay, how tricky are they being? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. There is someone who I know is present who is not a Death Eater. This question, okay, so. Well, that, I mean, like, Harry's present, you know. Right, but he's not one of the answers. Right. But there is one of the people who is listed. Ben. Just, who, who is, is present? present? There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. I thought I said which of the following. Okay. Okay. Nope. Who was present? All right. Ready? We thought yeah. about doing it that way. <coughs> of like name everybody that was there and you have to pick the Death Eaters out of them. Yeah, that'd be Oh, ridiculous. that'd be yeah. tricky. Okay. You ready? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. I just said B, C, and G. The Karos and Fenrir. I said Yaxley, Fenrir, and Antonin Dalahov. It is B, C, E, and G. The e. Karos, Yaxley, and uh, Fenrir. Oh, I did not remember Yaxley. I yeah. like. I, I knew he was there. I just thought he was downstairs fighting. Both the Karos, Yaxley, Fenrir, right back. Man, I can't believe the Karos would have been there and then immediately appointed to the school. I don't know why. I, that was why I was like, oh, they, they must have not been there. But Bellatrix is there in the movie, which I know like. Yeah, a lot that's, of people that's off. the tricky part. Yeah. The Bellatrix is there in the movie. She's not in the books. Presumably, the theory is because she's pregnant with Delphi from the Cursed Child, but. <laughs> think so but that is the that's the theory yeah I don't yeah like that. i don't like that either otherwise though it is weird that she's not there it is strange that she's not there because it's like she's there for the unbreakable vow with draco and this uh, is like when it's happening this is this is what the vow is about and she's like she is his aunt and like narcissa she like likes narcissa and like I don't, is lucius there either i don't even think he no obviously he's in jail at this point Right. I was wondering about that as well because yeah. there's the Azkaban breakout during Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. Oh no, but that's uh, that's the first time. That's when Bellatrix the first, gets You're out. right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I think they just needed to introduce the Karos. I think yeah, like, they wanted to introduce the Karos here uh, for this purpose later on, but Yaxley. Because you can't have Bellatrix teach at the school, even even under the ruse of. Right. Yeah. It's like. But you can have Bellatrix be downstairs, like, trying to kill people. No, sure, yeah. Yeah. Question number four. Who placed a body bind curse on Harry at the top of the astronomy tower? I mean, I mean, just giving out answers now. Not even you bad. Not mean? even bad. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. It is, it is Dumbledore. Yeah. yeah. Dumbledore. That's right, it was. Question number five. Speaking of somebody who wasn't a Death Eater, which character was bitten by Fenrir Greyback during the battle? Aha. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Yeah, for a second I was like, wait a minute, this is a whole different battle. Ha! But it's not. But it's not! But it's not. Yeah. Because something, something rare meat from now on. Right, Ready? right. Ready? One, two, three. Bill Weasley. Bill. It is Will Beasley. That's right. <laughs> Will Beasley. Will. Will Beasley. I feel like I went to high school. I know, with yeah. Will yeah. Did Weasley. I know a guy named Will Beasley? <laughs> I actually do I know also a know ben a guy Beasley. Named Will Beasley. <laughs> That's amazing. But I know a different guy named Will Beasley. Oh, man. I know Ben Beasley as well. Yeah, we called him the Bees. The Bees. He used to do this dance called the Beasley Bop. It was, it was great. It was great. It was great. Shout out to the Bees if you're watching. You should get him on the show. Oh, we, should. Dude, we should get Beasley on the show. I have, that'd be what Calm else? down here. Make him dance. <laughs> the second Quizmaster question of the game. Question number six is submitted by Cole Manuelo, Rain, Galen Cedai, Duck Patronus underscore 18, and Travis Peacock. Aside from Dumbledore, who was the other casualty in the Battle of the Astronomy Tower? Aside from Dumbledore, who else? This many people were aware of this? Guess so. At least six. Uh, now, come on. Five? I feel like... Now see here, Dumbledore. Now, now see here, Dumbledore. Um... You can't die at school. It's bad for the school. It's bad for the school. Let's see... This, there, it feels like we just know. It does it feel like It seems like it'd be really know. obvious information. What else is going on here? I know. Like, I have a guess, but it seems wrong. This is like, a, is it like a smaller character or something? It's like, well, like it's a obviously. Creature? Yeah, something like that. Is it like a creature or something? Because um, it's not. At some point, someone Harry thinks someone's dead. They stepped over a body, but that wasn't. That that's, doesn't that's, end up being true. That's, that's Bill. Bill. Yeah, who's been attacked, <clears throat> right? Um, so but by non-transformed Fenrir. But I don't think it's any of the Death Eaters either. Which seems like maybe it could be because then that would be why you don't hear as much about it. But oh, it could be a Death Eater. Still, but I don't feel like it is. I would go multiple choice. I mean, okay. All Let's right, multiple it. choice, yeah. A is Raoul, B is Jugson, C is Gibbon, and D is Yaxley. Okay. You got it? You got to guess? Got to guess. Ready? All right. One, two, three. I said Gibbon. 
said Raul. It is Gibbon. Yes! Oh, he Boom! Is, he is the guy that set off the dark mark. Oh. Apparently. He's uh, the one who got, man, that is a named one's character. Question number seven. How did the Death Eaters get to Hogwarts on that fateful evening? Ah. Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Through the vanishing cabinet in the room of requirement. Through the vanishing cabinet in the room of requirement, indeed. Booyah! Speaking of vanishing, yeah. oh you know what God. it's a really Here good time is. for? You know what it's a good time for? It could be the one. The only. Burbs. I'm out of here. I'm out of yeah. here. All right, I don't even want you here. Welcome, everybody, to another beautiful scenic route where I've got to say today it is just absolutely balmy out here. We also need to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, PayPal Honey, the easy way to shop whether you're on your PC or iPhone. Phew, I found some shade. Okay, so let me ask you this question. Are you a person huh? in the year 2023? Because if so, this might apply to you. I don't know about you. Everything seems to be a bit more expensive than it used to be, whether it's gas or food from the grocery store. Which means that it is more crucial than ever before to find a great deal. And whenever I do find a great deal or a coupon, then it's sweeter than, well, honey. And in a way, that's kind of perfect because that's almost exactly what this is. And in another way, it isn't because honey is an online tool that will automatically scour the entire wide interweb to find you the best available coupon code and automatically apply it for you. And honestly, it's amazing. For me personally, I was just recently in the market for a brand new phone case for my phone, which of course you always need. And my last one happened to just simply disintegrate. And they too, like everything else, seem to have gotten just that much much more expensive. So I was so excited when I got to check out and boom, Honey found me a 20% off coupon code. Made the blow just a little bit easier. And speaking of phones, Honey works on the go as well, not just on your PC. You simply activate it inside of Safari and boom, you're saving on the go. I literally could have bought my new phone case from my phone. Amazing. And the best part is that PayPal Honey is completely free. All you have to do is head on over to joinhoney.com slash J versus B. One more time, that's going to be join honey.com slash j versus b link is in the description down below well 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 welcome back to the table i do believe i heard uh ben possibly talking about how expensive everything is right now which is a great segue for me to get on my soapbox and tell you about today's other sponsor express vpn because it's true inflation has made it difficult to stomach spending a hundred dollars a month on various streaming services fortunately for you though i have a hack with express vpn allow me to explain. So services like Netflix, for example, actually have thousands more shows than you're even aware of. It's just that they get restricted depending on what country you live in. So if you live in America, what you see on Netflix is actually pretty different from what someone in, say, like Italy or South Korea might be seeing. But if you have ExpressVPN, you can change your location with the click of a button. And ExpressVPN has over 90 countries you can choose from. So if you ever run out of stuff to watch and think, man, I wonder what they're watching in France right now, no no problem at all. They actually have a show called A Meal in America, and it's just about a guy um, eating food in America. It's not as much fun. And what's great is that ExpressVPN is less than $7 a month, so it pays for itself in no time, and you can cancel all those other streaming services you don't need and just lock it into what you want. It's really a no-brainer and honestly just a more secure way to surf the internet. But if you want to save money and get more shows, then head over to expressvpn.com slash jverseb. And make sure you use that exact link, because if you do, you get an extra three months free. One more time, that is expressvpn.com slash jverseb. That's e X P R E S S V P N dot com slash J verse B. Link is in the description down below. When I was walking hey, away. Hey, welcome back. When I was walking away before, I heard you say it because he was losing. Yeah, well, I, I said want it you, loud. I want you. To... <laughs> <laughs> it was on purpose. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, we wow. Okay, wow, wow, we wow. Today's well. episode is also brought to you by Big Brothers <laughs> <laughs> and Borat, apparently. <laughs> Question number eight, how had Draco been communicating with Madame Rose Myrta, who'd been placed under the Imperious Curse? Oh, um, got it, no probs. You got it? Maybe he doesn't. I think so. Maybe. This guy. 
Okay, I'm adding I'm adding details. Okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said protein charmed coins. I said protein charmed galleons. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I just had enchanted coins. Just had enchanted oh, hey! Wow, look at that. We're too specific. Too Pacific Ocean for them. Because Dumbledore is having like a pleasant chat with Draco about it. It's like, isn't that the means of communication used by the group known as Dumbledore's Army? It's like, yeah, yes. that's where I got the idea. Draco is like great at not being too proud to steal someone's idea <laughs> and then true. use it effectively. Right. It's like, yeah. yes. They gave me a great idea. Yeah, I'm not. T- I'm not saying it wasn't a good idea. Yeah, like it's just I. There it was, and so I used it. And look, here I am. Yeah. I almost killed you a few times. So. Can you imagine if wizards had texting? Oh my gosh, a lot would have been worse, I or know. better, or better. <laughs> Serious? You okay? Yep. All right, cool. We all good. Actually, they had something even better than that that it just didn't use. <laughs> if Sirius had just explained how the mirror worked, yeah. Oh, to oh, Harry, the- what if that had happened? Hey, Sirius, are you? Currently dead in the Ministry of Magic? No. Great. I just banged my elbow in the corner trying to do a thinking man. I went, Why? Oh, you just like missed it. Oh uh, god, yeah, that sounds yeah. awful. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll fix that with you for you with <coughs> another quiz master question of the game. The third one, in fact. Oh boy. This question was submitted by Law Ninja. Just Law Ninja and voted on by patrons. What is the first spell that Harry casts at Snape? Oh, but, presumably but, but, during yeah, this but, yeah. encounter, not just ever. Ooh, ever it may also be ever. No, it's not ever. There was the thing <coughs> with the shrieking shack, and there's the shrieking shack. Yeah, oh, there's the yeah. Legilimens practice, yeah, and the Occlumency yeah, lessons. I mean, this feels like the the wrong answer, but maybe it's the right answer. Yeah, I, that's how I feel too. Ready? <coughs> yeah. One, two, three. Sectum sempra. Sectum sempra. It was stupefy. Butts on face, man. Knew it started with an S. I can't believe it wasn't Expelliarmus. I know, yeah. I know, that is Harry's go-to. Go-to. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, question number 10. Which house's hourglass was hit by a curse and broken in the Great Hall? Durmstrang. It's Beaubaton. Beaubaton. Beaubaton hourglass. Yeah. Wouldn't that have been funny if that year there was just like two more hourglasses? They just left it there? What colors would have filled those those? Apparently... Light blue and darker red. Yeah. Darker red. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Ravenclaw. Oh, I said Gryffindor. It is Gryffindor. What? Yes, man. I hit the table because you did, even though I got it right. No, you excited. got it right, man. Yeah. I guess oh, that's man. fitting. It's symbolic of like the death of Griff of of like the death Dumbledore. Of, the death of Gryffindor. The death of, the death of sorry, not Gryffindor. Dumbledore. Right. Who are not related? Not Where related. Are they? Where are they? Nice. Question number eleven. Who did Hagrid have to rescue from his hut when it caught on fire? Hey, good thing we already talked about this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and rack these points up. Yep. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Aragog. <laughs> Fang. It was <laughs> Fang. <laughs> oh no, my giant spider's at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Someone lit my giant spider on fire. Actually, he's already dead by this point, so yeah. well, never mind. Sure. It wasn't Aragog. Yeah. Fluffy, back for a visit. <laughs> <laughs> Norbert, also back for a visit. Yeah. Also, it would be fine. I don't think the fire would bother Norbert. The three-headed dog is in there with me dragging. <laughs> Why is it Mr. Krabs? Please? Why aren't you just using them to fight? Question number 12 and the fourth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Clifford Williams and voted on by patrons. Huh. Which Death Eater did Tonks fight during the Battle of the Astronomy Tower? Uh, oh, uh, I think it was this one. If I had to guess, but I don't know. Does the squeezing help you think, Ben? The squeezing? He like, squeezes squeeze. his face really hard. Just like, just, just like, go inside, mm. think. No, I think that helps sometimes, just like. Mm. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Set right back. It's not even a death eater. I just realized that as I was turning to get around. It's fine. I'm wrong. <laughs> hey, we should start a GoFundMe for JC iPad for the second time. <laughs> it's Raul. Oh, it's Raul. Yeah. No, it's not Raul. R-W-O-L-E. Roll. Raul. Question number 13. What insult did Harry shout at Snape that angered him? Oh, I think that's it. 
Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Coward. Coward. It was coward. Yeah. Colin Coward. Yeah. Colin Coward. You're listening he called to him Colin Coward and he got really mad. <laughs> You're listening to the herd. It's Colin Coward. <laughs> I am not a sports broadcaster. <laughs> like, Excuse me. He'll be glad to know I know nothing about sports. That's probably true. <laughs> so I guess he does referee a Quidditch match. Well, That's yeah, true. Not, about that. not <laughs> nothing about sports. Yeah. Not nothing. I can't imagine Snape flying in Broome. It's Could you weird. imagine if he was like quietly like a Chudley Cannons <clears throat> fan though, and so he's like all dark and mysterious, and like inside of his like his like dungeon or whatever, he's yeah. just got like one blaze orange poster. He is pretty invested in the Slytherin Quidditch team's success. I think he's really just invested in Harry's failure. That well, that could be true too. Yeah. I think he also hates McGonagall. Cool. <laughs> they do not get along. Yeah, get Question. along, get along a goal, <laughs> get along a goal. <laughs> Why can't we all just get along and go? <laughs> <laughs> Question number 14. Who did Harry hit in the chest with an impediment jinx to stop them from using an unforgivable curse on Ginny? Okay. All right. <laughs> there's a it, lot of there's it, a lot of death eaters slide around who here. Who did Harry hit in the chest with an impediment jinx to stop them from using an unforgivable curse on Ginny? All right. Given is it given or Raul? It is not given or Raul. I feel like I could rule out some people based on some things. Um, this is who I'm going with. This is my answer. Okay, same. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yaxley. I said Yaxley too. It is Amicus Caro. Oh, what? Why? Amicus Caro is fleeing with Draco. Okay. okay. They were on okay. the tower. Nonsense. Uh, anyway. Anyway, that's fine. Well, Whatever. according to Wizarding World, it I was believe it. I believe them. I'm fine with it. Question number 15, the final question, and the fifth Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Kelsey and Mole, and voted on by patrons. How did Draco guide the Death Eaters through the Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder? Oh. With his... I know this one. I know this one. Just... Like feeling your way <clears throat> along the wall, really <laughs> 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 cautiously. The buddy system, right? <laughs> the buddy system. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your exit, buddy? <laughs> Imagine just drink a lot of gear without that. Before we go out of there, I've got this darkness powder. Uh, powder. Oh, uh, ready? Yeah, darkness powder. <laughs> Ready? Somebody's trying to speak to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Is hand of glory. Hand of glory. It is the hand of glory. That's right. Uh, that is a tie. No way. No way. I gotta tell you what. Like rock, paper, scissors, I'm really like, proud of us for getting June 30th, 1997. I know. I really, I never stopped kind of riding that high for the rest of the quiz. I know, but it doesn't really matter because I guessed the date correctly. Yes, which never happened. I happens. still can't believe you guys got that one. Yeah, me neither. Oh, man. I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased. And yeah. at the end of the day, we're all in it together, right? I guess so. The, no. the real game is the fun we had along the way. Sure. That wasn't a very good one, was it? No, yeah. It's okay. I understood what you meant. Okay. I guess you yeah. brush Shambo for it. Brush Shambo. Oh, man. You ready? Ready. Okay. Something tells me you have a way to win this. Uh, it's, you can't win it a lot for the first round, okay. but. Ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, pff, I win. <laughs> that's another J win. Come on. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. Whatever. I don't we'll care. do penalty kicks next time. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, that kicks. sounds great. Yes, deal. Deal, deal, deal. Let's settle this on the pitch. <laughs> okay, we're marking it here now and for always. Next time we go to penalty kicks where we have to play goalie for each other, too. Okay. And uh, this is be good. All right, I'm down. I'm in. I was right. pretty good at penalty kicks back in the day. And now we need to give a huge thank you to all of our quiz masters over on Patreon for submitting and voting on all the questions in today's quiz. Huge shout out to Law Ninja, Emily Stock, Pancake Badger, Travis Peacock, Adam Malishi, Duck Patronus 18, Call Manuelo, Galen Sade, Clifford Williams, Kelsey, and Moel. You are all the people who got your questions in today's quiz. If you want to submit a question and try and stump me and Ben, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the Quiz Masters tier. Thanks again to all of our patrons. 
Guys, as ever, be sure to let us know how you did in the towel section down below. Did you remember June 30th, 1997? Because as a reminder, we did. We totally did. And if you want to know what would have happened if Sirius had told Harry about the mirrors, you can check out this video right here. But otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.